Hello, I'm System Override of OverrideSystems.com and today what I'm going to show you is how to use Ali to display a serial number to a user um, up against an EXE. Now I've downloaded a little KeyGenMe uh, which is an application designed to be reversed off the internet and to show my appreciation here's the user's information. Thanks a lot Hekara, appreciate your work. And let's get started. I'm going to enter in my name and then I'm going to enter a serial. I don't know, so I'm going to say I don't know. We see bad boy, try harder buddy, and a little frowning face. He's not very happy. Alright. Basically, um, you could go right now and search for the text string uh, that you see here, but that's really not a good practice. You want to shy away from doing that. Believe me, it's going to be more trouble than it's worth. And how we would do that if we wanted to would be to click back here in our main window, right click, search for all reference text strings and then we could find it but that again that's not something you want to rely on so I'm going to show you another way and that's to go to search for name or label in current module and this displays the API's used in the program now we're going to look for one uh, used for string comparison because what it's doing is it's comparing this string here with a string it generated to tell us if we're right or wrong Without looking too long, we can see one here, and you'll uh, you can Google what they are, whatever. There's not all that many that are used. Um, there's the mo most common, but STRCMP is actually short for String Compare. And we're going to right-click on that and set a breakpoint on every reference. Then we're going to go ahead and check our serial again, and what do you know? We hit a breakpoint. Now we can see here that our serial is displayed as well as the correct serial or at least it's safe to assume that because right here is the call to the string comparison with these two variables and the J and Z jump not zero if they're not the same goes down to what we see is remember this the bad boy okay so basically we have our serial number right here but that's not what we're concerned with we want to actually show it to the user and here's how we do that this line is the all-important line where it's pushing the information at this address onto the stack. We're just going to cut that, cancel, not assemble, or use copy if you're not real uh, sure of yourself, and come down here to this line where it says bad boy try harder buddy. Let's just go ahead and replace this part with this. We assemble it, we resume, there's an additional breakpoint down here that we don't need, and that happens a lot. You get duplicates on the APIs. And lo and behold, 637, hope you can hear my pencil, 185, 375 is shown to me. And I could compile this with the patch and allow anybody to just enter the wrong serial number and get the right one displayed. So what happens when we enter the right serial number? 637-185-375. We check. Of course, we hit our breakpoint again, but this time we don't care. Woot, woot. I'm System Override of OverrideSystems.com. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial.